Now what do we got here? What do we got? This is um kind of weird, right? It's kind of like a bowl, kind of like a bowl with like, or maybe more like a um like a dog food, yeah, a dog food dog dish, food, right? Because yeah. they've got straight edges, kind of, right? And then you've got this hollowed out part in the middle, right? Because the green part, that's the area that I'm actually rotating to get the volume, right? So that part is solid. The inside part, the, the carved out bit, the inner volume, that bit is empty, okay? So again, I've got an outer volume and an inner volume, right? Now this outer volume is nice and easy. Because I've got some straight edges here, right? The outer volume is just a cylinder. cylinder. Very good, okay? So pi r squared h. I know what the radius of this cylinder is because I've got 0 to 2 here. I don't yet know what the height is. What is the height? It's going to be 4, right? Because when you put an x equals 2 here to get this part, you get 2 squared, which is 4. That's great. So I've got pi times 2 squared times 4. That gives me 16 pi. Outside bit, done. Okay? So you don't need to do that by integration, right? And in the same way that if you get given, some of you have asked me this, um, some of you have been asked something like this, for instance. I think this is the exact one I got asked just now, actually. People look at this and they're like, oh, gross, <laughs> right? Um, to differentiate that is a bit messy because of that x squared minus x squared in the middle. To integrate it is the same. In fact, at the moment, you don't have the tools yet to integrate this guy. You will eventually. But remember, right? This is actually just a semicircle, right? In fact, this particular semicircle has radius 2. It's at the center of the origin. So this is the area in question. So being that an integral like this tells you area, you just need the area of a quadrant. And being that this, like this integral is just telling you a volume, you can just use a volume formula. It's fine. Okay. There's the outer one. Let's do the inner one. This takes a little more work. Not much though. Okay. I'm integrating with respect to y, because that's the axis I'm rotating around. Okay. So being that I'm integrating with respect to y, I need upper and lower boundaries for y, which are? 0 and 4. 0 and 4. Very good. That's an easy thing to miss, right? Um, you didn't even get that force supplied to you. A lot of people just see 0, 2, bam, they'll integrate, which demonstrates they don't understand what's going on here. They're just kind of looking at the numbers that are there and just plugging them in blindly. But you guys know better, right? Then I've got my integrand in here. This is going to be pi x squared dy. dy because I'm rotating around this axis. What is x squared in this case? Y. It's just y. Oh, it's x. Right? That's x squared dy, yeah? x squared is just y, I'm done. Okay. So this also is a very easy um, primitive to state. I've got that pi out the front. y is going to integrate up in 2. y squared on 2. Yep, half y squared. That's fine. From 0 to 4. I'm going to pull that um, oh, dividing by 2 out the front. And this gives me 16 take away 0. Yep. So this is 8 pi. Okay. Now, I've evaluated all the integrals, right? So now I'm just like where I was before to get the actual volume. Therefore, I just take the difference, okay? So it's just 16 pi take away 8 pi, which gives me this result. It doesn't seem like it's the same volume as the outside. Now, area. yeah, this is really interesting. I actually um, looked at this and I was like, huh. It's kind of weird, right, that this number should be the same as that number. I thought that was a little suspicious. And so I thought, hmm, I wonder why that is. Now, you can actually prove, just for a bit of fun, right, that if you take this parabola, okay, and no matter how wide you make your base, no matter how wide you make your base, the volume of the actual thing that you get, the dog bowl, as it were, is going to be exactly the same as the volume of what you carve out to make the dog bowl. Those two volumes are always identical. It's very easy to prove, actually. The, um, I took one, two, three, four, five, six lines, okay? And in fact, the six lines, you've mostly done all of them. There's just a minor modification you can make if you want to extend yourself. But that's it. Like, getting a difference between two volumes is not complicated. Just work out what one is and what the other is carefully. Now, just for the sake of it, you didn't just make a dog bowl, by the way. Uh, I looked at this and I was like, I recognize this shape. Um, I don't know if anyone knows, this is the largest radio telescope in the world, right? Now basically what it is, because of the reflective properties of a parabola, is it's, um, it's exactly this. It's exactly this. It's this 3D parabolic shape that's been dug into the ground, right? And they've got all this sediment around it so that it actually stays put, okay? This is the actual volume that you've determined. So how much concrete was required to... Well, there you go. You can work it out 
if you so choose.